Ordinarily, I should add much more water than I did, but I do not want my pepper soup to be too watery, although pepper soup is a watery soup. And this recipe is on how to make Nigerian pepper soup with chicken and potatoes. The first thing I will do is to slice my basil. I'm going to be ensuring that my basil leaves are thinly sliced. Very soon, I'll stop talking. Why? Because I want you to enjoy the ASMR sounds that I have for you. Enjoy. It's been 10 minutes since I started cooking my chicken and this is what it looks like. Right now is the perfect time for the next stage. Yes, the chicken, the chicken um, drumsticks, they are not properly cooked yet. But this right here is what I need. But first, before I continue, I'll remove the bay leaves from the chicken stock because I do not leave bay leaves at this time. And I have something to show you. I'll be using pepper soup spice, this pepper soup spice right here, this one. Let me see. Let me look for it. <laughs> this one. Yes, this one is the one I'll be using today. I find that I like the authenticity and the originality that it brings to my dishes. Anyway, I added two tablespoons of that pepper soup spice to this chicken broth. Yes, remember I said my chicken is not properly cooked, but actually right now is the perfect time to add pepper soup spice mix. Why? Because it gives the chicken the opportunity to absorb the spice mix and it also makes everything combine properly and very well. Also, I'll be adding my sliced potatoes to this at this point because I want my potatoes to also cook properly. So here is the reason why I cut my potatoes this small because it enables my potatoes to cook faster and it does help me save time and resources. So I like to cut my potatoes really small. Remember I added some water. So now I'll also add one more seasoning cube and a little bit more of salt. So this salt is less than half a tablespoon. Yes, that measuring spoon is not even full at all. Uh -huh. It's very, very small. I'll mix it up very, very well. And then I'll cover and cook for about 15 minutes. Yes, you heard me right, 15 minutes. Because I like to have my foods properly cooked. Now, if you've watched this um, video, if you've watched this recipe to this point, 
please like this video leave your comment share this video and subscribe to my channel thank you very much here is my pepper soup after 15 minutes take a look at it mm? is it not looking so inviting and yummy now i'm going to try to see if my potatoes are properly cooked i have an idea of how cooked the potatoes would be but i need to show you that these potatoes are properly cooked and here it is you can see that my fork is cutting through the potatoes easily okay let me taste mm -hmm. i guess right my potatoes are properly cooked now i'll be adding remember that leaf i sliced earlier huh the basil leaves now is the best time to add the basil leaves remember that i didn't slice all the leaves okay i'll still be adding the remaining towards the end of the video so make sure you watch this video to the end okay i'm just going to mix this up very well and let it cook for about two to three minutes because right now my pepper soup is properly cooked after two minutes this is what my pepper soup looks like and it's time to serve okay don't you feel like tasting this nigerian pepper soup is so so delicious it is healthy it is it is this food that just combines well with everything in fact if you do not want to combine pepper soup with anything it tastes lovely just drinking it alone and you know you take it up a notch when you add um other foods like potatoes like plantains and even yams yes and <laughs> you know like i would always say i always appreciate the fact that you take your time to watch my videos you watch my videos you like my videos you leave your comments you even share my videos and of course you subscribe to my channel what more can i want as a food content creator thank you so much for making it worth my while thank you for all your support and encouragement as i would always say if you've not liked this video don't forget to like this video leave a comment share this video and of course subscribe to my channel because i post so many delicious and amazing nigerian foods and nigerian cooking videos that you will love always like i would also always say don't forget good food should be enjoyed always i mean ah uh, what is the essence of living life and not enjoying good food but then don't forget moderation is key till i post my next video bye